Good day, everyone. My name is Jordan Villarreal, and I'm a technical advocate for Netbox. Today, we're going to be going over two new features uh, in version 3.4 that just came out. We're going to be looking at the JSON YAML bulk imports and updating existing objects through the bulk import as well. So what we're going to do is start in version 3.3.10 indicated by the dark mode here. And we're going to take a quick peek at what device imports looked like in that version. So you can see here that uh, we have the CSV data as an option, so you can manually populate this, uh, or you can bring in CSV files and upload those. So that has been the traditional way of importing. Now in 3.4, uh, we have a little indicator down here, which can do some auto detecting, but we also have the ability now of JSON in YAML information. So what we're going to do is tackle the first part here by creating a new device using JSON data. So we will grab this pre-populated data here. So we're creating a switch with a bad name, uh, but we are placing it where we want it to go. Uh, and you can see down here, we will update that information. That'll be step two in this process. Uh, we will have to update the ID. I don't know if it will create as 108 this time, uh, but we'll be fixing the name. And you can see we left out applying the tenant. So we will apply the tenant as well. So we will start here with creating our new device and we will let it auto detect that we are using JSON here. And we can see it did create, we have our little success indicator and it did create as switch 108 again. We'll jump back in here, we'll copy this data and actually before we apply it, we'll take a look at that switch and we can see indeed uh, it does have a, a non-production name and we also forgot to apply that tenant is blank there. So we'll hop back over to devices. And before we paste this in, the, the mechanism that makes this work right here is the ID. And you can see this called out down here in the field options, as well as in the documentation, that if you are passing an ID, the numeric ID of an existing object, Netbox will interpret that as an update to that object if not creating a new object. So we do have this device 108 with the better name and the actual tenant. We'll go ahead and submit that and we can see success. And now we see that device has been named properly and it does have the tenant associated with it. We can pivot over there and see that one more time. And then we can take a peek in the change log as well. And we can see the update here and we will diff that update within the change. Uh, the changes are that it no longer has that name. Uh, the position did get changed automatically. Uh, that's part of the, the half rack unit uh, option and our tenant got applied. So hopefully you find both of these options helpful. Uh, these are definitely easier ways to import data. Uh, and do those bulk updates, that should be very handy as well. Uh, I, I hope you find those features helpful, and thank you for watching.